show you how to do effects It's top quality, it's the best I hope that you find this helpful This is Dale Tutorial Today we're going to be looking at how to do a realistic camera shake So we're going to be doing this in After Effects And uh, let's begin So I've got this original clip um, Just of a film that I've been making There'll be a link on the screen if you want to go see the video um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to track it because this is a handheld shot and I'm going to make a picture look like it's moving to the movements of how I'm going to track this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this onto the timeline and I'm going to go down to tracker track motion and I'm going to find point that has high contrast that's the key to tracking you need to find something that's black and white so that could be a good area but because I've tried this before I know that this spot here will do so I've got that I'll then track forwards now what this is doing is it's going to track the movements that the camera is moving around so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it onto a null object and I'm going to track it onto a picture so once this is done I'll show you what to do then right okay so now that's done we go up to layer new null object and then back down with tracker we go edit target make sure that the null object is selected click OK and then apply and yep just click OK to that so now what that's done is if you can see up here this little square when we go along it should be tracked to the wall if we turn off this bottom layer just show you that's what the track looks like so it's not got massive movements but it adds realism to your picture so now what we can do is we can delete the bottom image and just literally have the track so the picture that I want to use is just a picture that um, I took when I was making a music video and I'll just shrink it so there we go it's me in the background so we'll just move that up and what we're going to do first I'm going to go right click and pre-compose move all attributes into this yep and click OK right so now what that's done is it's created just the image on its own but what you can do is double click in there and that's where the final image is so we'll go back out and what we'll do is we'll scale it up a bit so click S and scale it up it doesn't have to be too much we want to track this image onto the null so we'll go down to parent and we'll just drag it onto the null object now what this has done is it's just tracked the image to that little square So as you can see it's just moving slightly and it looks pretty good right now there's a problem at the end here as you can see it's a little bit of black at the bottom there right at the bottom of this image is a bit of black so what all we can do is scale it up just a little bit there we go now there's, there shouldn't be any black anywhere on the screen and that should flow quite nicely so that does look good but I wanna make it move a bit more I wanna make the image seem more realistic so I'll click on the image that we've pre-composed and we'll go up to here now what this is is it's the puppet pin tool so we'll click on that and a part of this image we want to move so I want this piece here to move so I'll click on the top bit and I'll click on the bottom of it and what I'm going to do is that's now set a keyframe at the start of the image timeline and I'll move I don't know, up to here and what I'm going to do is I'll hold one of these points and I'll just move it slightly so I'll move it, I don't know just a bit like that and move the bottom 
just a bit more like that. So now what that's done is it's moved the whole image slightly around those two points. So now when we watch it back, not only does it move, but it moves on those two points as well as tracked. So there we go. Now it does slightly move around those two points because it does you can see slightly that it stretches the image but only if you see it very slow pace I mean if you're watching this in a movie you're not really going to notice much that it's being stretched unless you really go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth quite slowly so there we go that is the realistic camera movements please click subscribe like and favorite the video and comment if you want any new tutorials on After Effects. I'll be making as many as I can. Um, and thank you. This has been Dale Tutorials. Goodbye. I'll show you how to do effects. It's top quality. It's the best. I hope that you find this helpful. This is Dale Tutorials.